Regardless of your specific health science field, the ability to modify an exercise through regressions or progressions is a valuable skill to have. An exercise regression is simply an approach to decrease the demand of a movement or in other words, make it easier. Conversely, a progression does the exact opposite by increasing the demand, making it harder. Variables that influence these changes are load, range of motion, speed, and body position. When applying these variables to core exercises, you can regress an exercise by decreasing the range of motion, using shorter levers, increasing points of contact, or decreasing time under tension. On the other side of the spectrum, you can progress an exercise by increasing range of motion, use longer levers, add resistance, decrease stability via perturbation, stability ball, BOSU ball, etc., increase time under tension, or simply close your eyes. However, if you close your eyes, make sure safety is your number one priority. Simply put, you have a regular variation of an exercise in which you modify that movement to either make it easier or harder. Let's take a look at a few examples. First up is the bird dog. The movement starts with four points of contact with hands under the shoulders and knees under hips, and then changes to two points of contact as opposite hand and leg reach for the walls. To regress this exercise, we can make it more stable by increasing the points of contact. So instead of going from four points of contact to two, we can go from four to three by performing the bird dog with either legs only or arms only. Now on to exercise progressions. A simple way to make this movement harder would be to perform the movement on two points of contact the entire time. This variation is also considered a progression due to the increased range of motion as the elbow touches the knee. A more obvious progression would be to add resistance via mini bands around the feet or band from foot to hand. Next up is the dead bug. This movement is performed on your back with hands in line with shoulders and knees in line with the hips. Opposite hand and leg lower towards the ground, then move back to starting position, which is then repeated on the other side. Unlike the bird dog, we can't increase the ability to make the movement easier since the movement is already performed on your back. Therefore, to regress this exercise, you can decrease the load by moving the legs only, arms only, or by shortening the levers. Now on to progressions. A simple way to make this exercise harder is to add resistance, either via medicine ball or using bands, either holding them or around the feet. Keep in mind that there are many other ways to progress or regress the exercises demonstrated in this video, which brings me to my first point. There is no set amount of variations for each exercise. Rather, every exercise will have a different amount of progressions or regressions. Secondly, keep in mind that there is nothing worse than starting someone on an exercise that's too complex and then have to regress them. Learning what exercise in the continuum is best will come with practice and knowing your client, but in the meantime, start easy, build confidence, and then progress them. Thanks for listening and happy training!